We'll guide you through how to download and install mods on Minecraft on Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, go and close off Minecraft like this. And next, we're going to go and download Java because we need Java to go and run the applications which we need to go and get mods. So go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Safari. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They might go to Minecraft Server Host. They've got instant setup, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it. DDoS protection, one click mod packs and so much more awesome stuff. There'll be a link in the pinned comment and the description and you can get 25% off your first invoice as well, which is super good. So go and check them out. So what you want to do is go to java.com just like so and then on the website click on download java and then you can click on download java for mac os intel and it should then go and download so then all you need to do is wait for this to finish downloading and once it has you just need to go and install it you can also find it in the finder app in your downloads folder it's now finished downloading so what we can do is go and double click on it like this and then you need to go and double click on it again in this here and you need to confirm you wish to go and open it up and then you need to go and press install make sure you agree to the terms i already have read them and i agree to them i'll then go and press ok and just wait for it to go and finish installing once it's finished it will say it was successful and you can go and click close so now that you've gone and got java then now we need to go and get something called forge and forge basically allows you to go and run mods on minecraft so go and search for forge and then you'll be on the downloads and then what you want to do and now what you need to do is choose the version of forge you want it's important to note that the version of forge you get will then need to go and get mods for the same version so in this case i'll go and get uh 1.20.2 so i'll go and click on installer here and then it'll be taken to an ad wall be careful with this ad wall because there may be download buttons but this won't start forge it'll be for the ad so you need to wait for the skip button in the top right which you can then click on. You'll need to allow downloads to happen, which I now have. And as you can see, Forge has now downloaded. But I went and got Forge for 1.20.2. So therefore I need to go and get mods for Minecraft 1.20.2 as well. So now we've gone and got Forge, we now need to install it. So you can find it in your Safari downloads or open up your finder and go to your downloads there. And then all you need to do is go and double click on it. As you can see, I got this pop up here. To go and get around this, you need to press OK and then you need to go and open up your system settings. Head over to the left and scroll down to privacy and security and scroll down again until you get to the security section until you go and see Forge. And you need to go and click on open anyway if you're sure. I am, I've used Forge uh, many times. I've never had any problems with it. And now we've entered our password. You need to confirm your decision again by clicking open. And now it should go and open up. Here it is. Make sure install client is selected hit OK and it's now going to go and start the process of installing. Once it's finished, you'll get this complete message and you can then press OK and it's now added. But now what we need to do is go and get the mods. So you may have a certain mod in mind. If you just want to go and browse mods, a great website I recommend is called Curse Forge. Here it is, curseforge.com. You can then choose the game, which in this case is Minecraft, and then you can go and look through these mods. So there's quite a lot to go and choose from. In this case here, I want the mod just enough items. So let me go and click on it. And then when you're on the mod, click on files. Now what's super important is, is you go and get the mod for the right version of Forge, as I just said. So in this case, I got Forge for 1.20.2. So now if I come over to the right, we can see this one is for 1.20.2. I need to check the mod loader as well, as there are other loaders. And as you can see, this is for Forge, but this next one is for Fabric. So, which is another mod loader. So make sure you get the right one, then click on the three dots and click on download file and it should automatically start downloading. And just like that, it's now finished downloading. So let me close off Safari. Now here we are in my downloads folder and I've gone and located the mod I just downloaded. And what I'm gonna do is just drag it onto my desktop like so, so we can easily get to it. Now what you need to do is go and open up Minecraft. So just go and open up the launcher like so. Now what's super important is, is you go and run Minecraft with Forge. To go and do that, wait for this to load, make sure Forge is selected. You may need to scroll down here and go and select it and then go and click on play and it will launch with it. It's now loaded and then what you need to do is go and click on mods and go and click on open mods folder. And now what you need to do is go and drag your mods in. So I put my mods on my desktop so it's super easy to do so. Drag it in like that. And then when I come back here, I'll press done. 
and then what you need to do is go and close off Minecraft and you need to go and relaunch it. After relaunching it, we'll then click on mods and there it is. We just installed just enough items and there it is. So now I'll go and get into a world and just show you what it looks like. So here we are in a world and when I go and press on E, we can then go and see the mod on the right here. So basically when you click on it, you can then go and see the recipe for the item. It's super useful. 